Hello everybody and welcome to my ninth Excel 2010 VBA tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to carry on looking at strings. Uh, so we've gone through how to use a string variable um, and how you can combine them together. Um, what I'm going to do is just show you a couple of useful uh, functions that you can use uh, in order to 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 um, to work with strings a little bit more. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you is left. Um, so left is quite a simple one. Um, so you would put it around a string. So if we put my string equals left, um, and it's a method that's going to give you uh, a a string back. So it takes two parameters. So it takes a string variable so let's give it my string and it also takes a length uh, as a long a long is a type of integer um, and it's it just means it can be a little bit bigger so integer can only go up to a certain number of characters um, I can never remember what the exact number is um, whereas a long goes up a lot higher but basically it just means put a whole number in there and that number is going to represent how many characters from the left hand side you want to take so let's put in uh, 5 and close that off um, and then that's it so what this is going to do is it's just going to take the character index 5 and anything on the left from my string and then put it back into my string removing anything on the right hand side so if we play this now uh, and then head back into our worksheet uh, and then you notice it's taken um, the first five across from the side so if we put in one it would take just the L, two, it took those two, three, those two, four, those four and five it took that one as well um, so that's how left works uh, if we put it, if I show you right, um, then this does pretty much the same thing. Uh, if we press play uh, and put it in here, then it's taken the five characters from the right-hand side of the string. Um, now this also includes any white space. So if we put some spaces in here and then press play, uh, and then we look at it, it it looks like it's only brought G through. But when you click in the cell you'll actually see that there's there's quite a bit of white space in there um, so it's, it's added that white space into the cell as well uh, so that's left and right they're quite useful um, for if you want to, uh, to cut bits off so I'm going to give you one example that's quite useful and that's using the uh, this workbook dot name uh, Word. So this workbook.name gives you a string. Uh, so let's let's create a new string down here. So um, dim workbook name as string, and then workbook name equals this workbook dot name. Now uh, this is going to uh, this is what this is going to do is it's going to take uh, the name of the workbook uh, and it's going to put it into our workbook name. So let's try putting this into a message box. Let's just comment this out so that doesn't stay. Um, so message box and then workbook name uh, and put that in a parentheses. Um, and then press play uh, and you see it's coming up with tutorial 9.xlsm so this is going to give us the full name including the extension of the file but quite often you're not going to want to use that extension of the file there you're, you're going to just want that name on the side so we're going to want to take the left hand side um, the first so many uh, characters. What we're not going to know necessarily is this one we know the length of the the name of the workbook but that's because we know the name of the workbook. If we're making a piece of code that will fit into anywhere 
um, and give us the exact name. But without that extension, um, then we're going to need to do a little bit of trickery. So um, let's take workbook name equals, uh, and then we want to cut to the left, and we want to cut to the left of workbook name. Uh, and then for the length of it, we want to take the length of the the entire string. Um, so to work that out, we put a, a new method called len, so it's length uh, of the string, and then we put the string name in there. So workbook name. Um, and then, so at the moment, that's going to give us the whole string because we're putting in the entire length. But what we want to do is we want to just take off however many we don't want on the right. So we don't want dot x l s m. So let's just do minus five. And then in theory, now when we make this play, it's going to come up with just tutorial nine, which, as you can see, uh, if we pan up here. That's the name of our workbook. Um, so just flip back to our code. Uh, just go through this one more time. So what this is doing is it's making the, the, the this variable equal to the name of the workbook. It's then on the next line. It's taking the left hand side of the name of the workbook. And it's removing the length, moving from. It's taken from the left the length of the workbook minus 5 which is just going to cut off the dot .xlsm from the end and then we're just putting it out into a message box so the next thing I want to show you is how to use the uh, in string method so the in string method uh, is another one that's very useful um, and I'm going to use an example of it to show you uh, how you would get rid of say this colon here that I made a mistake for so let's just get rid of this code. Make sure you get rid of this right one as well, because otherwise it's going to stop everything from working. Uh, and in fact, let's just go back all the way to here. So get rid of all that. Um, and I'm going to eat my own words there, because uh, I told you, don't delete stuff, don't delete stuff. Comment it out. So I'm going to comment it all out instead, because I might, I might just want it later. Um, so let's move that down now. We don't need that anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in the string for where the semicolon is. So I'm going to put um, a new variable. So dim string position as long. So you know what a long is. I just explained that as well. It's just an int, but it's a bit bigger. Um, and then we're going to go, so str position equals in string. Um, and then we want a start point. So our start point is going to be 1. So the very beginning of our string. So the start point is where you're going to start looking. So I'm going to, if I put in 1, it's just going to look from the very beginning. Uh, if I put in 2, it's going to start searching the second character, and so on and so forth. Um, we then need string one. So string one is the string that we're looking in. So we're going to look in my string. And then string two is the, um, the the string that we're looking for within the string. So I'm going to look for my semi, my colon. Um, and then the last parameter, um, just ignore it. It doesn't matter um, not for what we're doing. Um, so that gives you then your formula. Um, We'll then print this out on screen, so message box, and then my uh, start position. Enter. And then let's play this now. Um, and then you'll notice that start position is now coming back as being number two. So what this is telling us is that this string here is sat in a, the bigger string at our position number two. Um, so what we can do now is we can take, we can declare another couple of strings. So let's put dim left side as string, dim right side as string. So we now know the position in our string of that, um, of that semicolon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this side, I'm going to take this side, 
we'll add them together and create a string without that colon in it. Um, so let's go move that down a bit. So we want to go uh, left side equals left and then my string and then the length of it we want to take the str position um, and we want a minus one from it because as you can see from up here it's at position two so we want to take everything that is before position two so we want to just take well off so it's going to go from position one so by minus and one we want to say say it found it here it would take everything from here minus one so it would take all of these um, we then need the right side, so right side equals right. Again, my string. And then this time, we want to do it a little bit differently. So we want to take from the right hand side, for the length minus the position of here. So if we put length, my string, and then minus start position and what this is going to do is it's going to take the right hand side of the string um, and then we can just combine these two together so now we're going to make my string equals left side ampersand right side and then we're going to message box out my string press play and then you see look at me I'm a string but without the code on inside it so this is just a nice little bit of code um, that will help you take out a colon in here now this was kind of just an example because there is a easier way of doing this um, so there is a piece of code you can use which is called replace um, and this does pretty much the same thing so let's comment this out here uh, comment, 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 comment and let's just move this up here right so let's start again so if, if we wanted to replace it in a different way say so let's just go um, my string equals replace um, and then you take an expression as a string so that's going to be the string that we want to replace in so my string find as a string so this is the string that we want to find so I want to find a colon uh, and then replace a string so what I wanted to do was get rid of it so I can just replace it with kind of a null string so this is just two speech blocks next to each other with nothing in it and all this is just going to do is just going to replace any colons with blank space. Um, and then if we close this off and if we play this now, you notice this is going to have exactly the same effect um, as we did before, but with a lot less case. Um, so the reason I showed you the other one first is just because it was it's quite a good example of how to use the, the in-string method. Um, and the in-string method often has quite a few benefits to it. Um, but... The, the replace one, if you're going to be substituting someone out, is a lot better um, and also replaces uh, multiples. So if we put in A here, replace all the A's with replaced, say, and if we press play on this, then you'll notice that, look, and it doesn't say at anymore, it says replace T, me, I'm replaced string. Um, so rather than look at me as string, it's taken all the A's out and it's just replaced them with replaced. Um, so replaced can be really useful um, so that's it for strings um, in the next tutorial we're going to go into how to use date variables um, so thanks for listening uh, please please subscribe to my channel so you can catch on to my future videos and I hope to catch you soon